Hello and welcome back to Inquisitor Martyr. So, now we have to talk to Captain Ragna Van Winter. Captain, I know where the martyr is. Did those cards tell you that? Really? You could say so. Uther's Tarot showed me a vision of the martyr and a fellow Inquisitor on the ship. And it all came to me with a very clear sense of location in the subsector. We have arrived at the coordinates you provided. I don't know how you did it exactly, Inquisitor, but the Martyr is here. Uncanny. And speaking of uncanny, you also have a message from the Caligari Conclave. We continue to be impressed by your progress, Inquisitor. You have located the Martyr. Your methods might be unconventional, but they are rather efficient. It's time to land on the Martyr again. I can't stress enough how important it is that you find Lord Klosterheim. Remember, we need him alive, at least for the time being. He must be a repository of valuable information on the legacy of other Tiberius. The Emperor protects. All right, now we get to go back to the Martyr. With the help of Uther's Tarot, an ancient mysterious relic from the past, I have managed to find the Martyr again. My primary goal is to find Lord Inquisitor Klosterheim, and this time I have no intention of losing another landing craft. The turrets didn't open fire this time. Your binary litany has worked. I'm rather pleased you didn't mention this before. Wait, I have incoming hostiles. I'll take care of this first. At your command. All right, deploying minefields. Okay. You guard there. You guard there. And one of you guard here. As I was loading, I was asking myself, is it really wise to keep playing on, you know, the plus three, so like extreme difficulty? I mean, I'll keep doing it, because why not? But I also recognize the fact that I tend to die a lot, and I don't have enough abilities, I guess, to increase my survivability to reasonable amounts. Go, turn invisible. Now that we kind of figure out how this trick works. Oh yeah, the like, skill shot, I forgot about that. Ah, we'll just toss a minefield right here. Clog that up a little bit. What else is it? Is it just tarantula turret? I'll throw those down. So that'll help defend the area. Activate bless, give everybody a damage buff. And we'll go from there. And now I need to run, because I'm almost dead again. Oh, 
wish the dual las pistols were a little more effective, but... And I'm dead. Ah, I can't even be mad, I just wish my inoculators had better cooldowns. I, I loathe even trying to do like any endgame content with this character. With just how squishy she is. Seems like anything you do runs a really high risk of failure. Maybe I'm just using the character wrong, but I just cannot find a good setup yet. Like I can chew through low low end guys real easy, but anything past that I just start to struggle with. Captain. I've cleared the area, but the rest of the hangar is still crawling with mutants. I can't leave the transport here undefended. Not yet. I might need it. In case the tech priest's plan doesn't work out, I'll purge the area first. Yeah, I don't even want to use the LAS pistols because they're just so unreliable. Like, at least with the Crusader, I can just throw my shield up and deflect a bunch of damage. I think one thing is I need to boost my crit rate. Because it's not like... It's not like other builds where I can just hang back and shell enemies. What is this way? I knew there was going to be more guys than just the landing zone. Ah, eh, we'll come back to them after I clear the landing zone first. Even though this goes against my usual way of doing it. No sense in clearing everything and then just standing around running through empty hallways. Oh great, a boss. Guess I get to just pot shot guys down. Okay, do my inoculators- wait. What do my inoculators do? Do these things not even heal me? Because I don't care about damage bonus, I need to actually heal. Oh my god, I probably have no damaging capabilities on these things. Which would explain why I get flattened every time I use them. Ah, that's just great. Hope I can find a better one. I found the 
heresy. Oh, and I was... I was looking at stuff for Warhammer for the tabletop game. Apparently, I didn't know about this until recently now, but I guess the Iron Hands were extremely powerful. Like, whatever abilities they got as a chapter were extremely good. But they got nerfed, and now everybody's been trying to offload their armies. And I have to laugh at that. That people were seriously building entire... I've seen everything up to like a 2,000 point army just because they were at the time powerful instead of actually just enjoying them as a faction. So, you had an idea about the teleport beacons? I can move a little more while shooting, that would be nice. Just kind of sucks having to stop every time I want to shoot. At least I generate, like, no heat, but... You know, I'm actually going to look quick and see what my... Critical hit chance. Really? 31%? Is there... Okay. That's... Yeah, I'm going to have to just dump into critical hits at this point. Single target damage and critical hits because my critical hit damage is just busted. Because I can't really say it because in theory every shot has a 31% chance of critting. It does not mean every three shots I should get a crit. That's gambler's fallacy. Because it's not you, your chances increase by this until you crit. Because that would, that would honestly break the game. I oh, know these this burst hits not bad. And it lets me move around while it's coming off cooldown. Now I have to reposition because I am very nearly dead. Acquired. Yeah, I really need a way better inoculator. I, I just need a lot better setup.
because I'm suffering pretty hard with this loadout. Target locked. Like my melee isn't bad. My melee is pretty solid. It's just survivability is abysmal. If I could get crit, like heal on crit, or even every you know six percent chance to heal double my damage, I'd take it. Because that's something I can work with. Not having any major heal like that. Without it, this class really starts to crumble. And you know, my, my melee is great. I can just walk up, deal with all these guys, just group them all together and bam, dead. Easy, didn't have to take a second to think about it. But that's really it. Uh, I can tr I can clear trash. And I really need to do more than clear trash. I'll admit I'm surprised Games Workshop never added Skaven. I don't know yet. It was a strange hallucination. The martyr has become a poisonous cesspool of Nurgle. I might have inhaled a toxin that affected my synapses. I was trained to endure extreme circumstances. A minor case of poisoning won't stop me. But as I was saying, like, the Skaven would be really cool, even if it was a chapter of Chaos Space Marines who worship Nurgle or some small sub-chaos god. Because they they do happen. Entities within the warp gain enough power that they get at least a small following. So it would be completely doable. And even if it's just space marines with skaven heads, I don't care. I just like skaven. I think they're cool. Plus, you could... From a creator standpoint, like Games Workshop could recycle a lot of uh, Skaven content. Like the uh, Plague Monks with the sensors, the bell. Unless they wanted to bring back the Horned Rat, but I feel like that, that's a little too on the nose with, in comparison to Warhammer Fantasy. And they already had the Horned Rat. I believe become a chaos god in Age of Sigmar. So it becomes a question of do you really want to just like... At that point you're double dipping. There's no two ways about it. And I can't imagine... I can't imagine a lot of people would be happy. I wouldn't necessarily be... Like I'd be happy to have Skaven, but I'd be disappointed for them to just be like, yeah we just copy-pasted everything and made them space marines. Like, you gotta do a healthy mix of new and old. Skaven weapons? Sure. I mean, essentially the, like, warp lock jazales and the warp fire throwers and all that stuff, that's essentially just a, I would say, a chaos version of what you expect the uh, Adeptus Mechanicus with some of their weapons are. Because Admech has like the Radium I think it's Radium Carbines but they shoot radioactive bullets effectively and a bunch of their stuff fires radiation 
So it's kind of like just a chaos version of that, and that's not a bad idea. Or if we actually got more for Dark Mechanicus. I mean, seriously, you can't be like, oh yeah, there's evil chaos tech priests who make all these crazy evil demon engines and then release like two things and then just never touch on it and be like, eh, we, we, we did a thing. Granted, I feel like if they were to do something, it'd be on the back burner considering they're finally getting around to doing at least some stuff for Sisters of Battle. I don't get why they, you know, aren't a little more diligent at keeping all their factions up to date. I don't know, it feels like they kind of just focused on, like, the Gene Stealer cults and were like, hey, we kind of revamped this faction, shut up and be happy. And you know, it's cool, Gene Stealers suck less. And they're all interesting, but I don't know. I feel like Gene Stealer cults. Realistically, there's not a lot you're changing. Like, oh, they're using mining equipment, so like Lost and the Damned likely would use, you know, your usual Chaos Renegades. So why not just, this is just me here, why not just offer like a conversion kit? Be like, hey, you know, you can get some Gene Stealer hands, heads, and guns. Slap them on whatever you need. It's probably cheaper to produce, ship, and sell. And then you're not having to be like, okay, we need to produce X, Y, and Z for this faction, but then never touch this crap again for anyone else because it overlaps. That's just me. You know, it's the classic of, it's just me speaking my mind, what do I know? You guys mind dying to this already? I'm starting to overheat. Sucks. <laughs> but in general, I'd, I'd like to see some factions kind of get reworked or at least variations brought in. I mean, look at uh, Beastmen. Beastmen exist as abhumans in the 40k universe, but they're not really touched on much, and I don't understand why. Personally, I'd love to run a chaos dominated or essentially a boss in the damned faction. You know, Imperial Guard turned to chaos. You could do some cool stuff. You know, if they are more aligned with Nurgle, maybe they can get plague zombies. Or what do they have now? Gellerpox infected? I prefer just plague zombies, but whatever. But you could do that. You could have the Blight Drones, maybe Nurglings. And then, as like a commander you could have, or like a squad leader, you could have a, a Chaos Space Marine, or an Aspiring Champion. But then the rest is... all Imperial Guard stuff, but maybe they might get little bonuses. Once again, 
you use Nurgle as an example, maybe artillery can get a like a poison cannon. I don't know exactly what it would be, because all that comes to mind is like a demolisher cannon, but it shoots like it deals some form of poison damage to enemies, or you could have I'm just trying to think. Just things along the lines of Nurgle. It has, you know, that influence without being overwhelming. You could have... I think it's the Plague Reaper, which was a... Baneblade tank completely Nurgleified. That would be a cool option as, like, a major unit you could bring in. You can already bring in Baneblades for... Uh, standard Imperial Guard. I found the cogitator. What now? All right, and that is going to be all for today. If you enjoyed this episode, please make sure to hit the like button. Helps out the channel a lot. If you are new, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.